Hi guys, I just wanted to say thank you for showing your interest in the Beef Central 2024 US study tour. My name's Eric Barker, I'm a journalist at Beef Central and I'll be heading with you to the States next year along with Quadrant Ag Tours' Ross Kane. Ross is very experienced in taking these tours over there and you'll no doubt get a lot of value out of him. For this video, I just wanted to run you through some things to consider in making your decision to sign up to the trip. Uh, some of the things like the program, the ways we can tailor it to you and some of the actual things to consider in, in, in uh, actually signing up. So the US beef industry has been really supportive of this trip and, and given us great access and I think that is the real strength of this trip, you know, it's using the networks of Beef Central and Quadrant Tours, as well as just the generosity of the US beef industry. We've, we've managed to, to pull together what I think is, is a really good program where you'll be able to, to learn a lot from it. Um, it's starting in Chicago, heading to the McDonald's World Headquarters. So McDonald's is Australia's single largest beef customer. Uh, so there we'll be getting a bit of a, some supply chain insights and then heading over to some of their food testing rooms and doing some sensory evaluations of burgers, which uh, is sort of the eating quality side of it at McDonald's. And then heading to the Ruprecht uh, packing plant, which is owned by Kilcoy Global Foods. It's been in Chicago since the 1800s. It's, it's a real center of the, of the US beef industry, Chicago, surprisingly, and, and Ruprecht is a big part of that. Then we head down to Texas, and that's the, the real heartland of the United States cattle industry. We're heading to some of the big hitters in Texas, like JD Hudgens Ranch. Uh, I think a lot of Australian cattle have Hudgens bloodlines in them. Uh, we've got some time to go to a processing plant, as well as uh, a feedlot. Texas Tech University. This is one where uh, Ross Kane says a lot of people leave Texas Tech University thinking, you know, why don't we have something like this in Australia? And the Texas part of the trip actually finishes at the Houston Livestock Show, which is a fascinating event. It's one of the world's largest livestock shows, if not the largest livestock show in the world, right in the middle of America's fourth largest city. It's a big city, Houston. So even just getting those cattle into the middle of Houston is, is quite fascinating. The week we're there is, is International Brahmin Week. So there's a Brahmin, you know, stud breeders from uh, all over the States as, as well as parts of, of South and, and, and Central America. We're there for the International Livestock Congress as well, which is a, a research focused uh, conference. And we'll no doubt be, be heading over to the rodeo for one night. It's, you know, one of the biggest rodeos in the States, the, the Houston Livestock Show's rodeo. It's in the NRG uh, Hyperdome, I think it's called, and Astrodome, sorry. And it is, you know, it can pack out 80,000 people. So all of that is a, is a fascinating experience, the, the Houston Livestock Show. It's not just the, the Brahmin Week as well. There is all sorts of other breeds there and that there is um, you know, a big horse event that goes beside it as well, cutting horses, uh, an event that's, that's kind of like camp drafting as well. So the main goal for Beef Central as a company in hosting this tour is that it is a bit of industry goodwill. So we want you to really be able to get something out of the tour. So there's a few sides of that. One is that there's a, there's a tax side of it. So I'd encourage you to talk to your accountant about it as well as, as Quadrant Tours. Uh, the other side of it is that if you do have any specific requests or, or ideas, feel free to get in touch with us. I'll have a, a link to the, the tour um, in, in the bio here. But feel free to, to get in touch with us, ask us questions, make requests, and, and we'll look to adapt the program uh, for you and, and your needs as, as best we can. And the third part of that is that there is an opportunity to stay on in the United States. Um, so as I mentioned, we're finishing at the Houston Livestock Show. We'll be right at the start of the Houston Livestock Show. It's a three week event. So there's, there's three weeks of, of stud shows. So all the breeds eventually go through the Houston Livestock Show. If there is people that you might want to talk to there or you might just want to observe the Livestock Show for a bit longer, uh, there's absolutely no reason you can't stay on there. And I'd encourage you to get in touch with us um, and, and we can we can work out um, things that y you might want to do at the livestock show, you know, going through the catalogue and, and stuff like that. Um, there's a big stock horse element, if that's one of your, your interests as well. Um, you know, that forms a big part of the show, so there's no reason you can't stay around for that. Um, as a 
another idea. We've also noticed that the NRL is heading to Las Vegas the weekend that the, that the tour finishes. So you could finish up on the tour. I think it may, might be on the Friday or the Saturday and just head straight for Vegas and go and watch the, the NRL. I'd also just like to talk to you about the size of the group that we're looking to take. I think the ideal number that we've talked about is sort of 25 people. Uh, that's a group that's you know big enough to have a really good cross section of, of people but you know also small enough to not be completely out of control so we've had about last time i spoke to quadrant which was uh, you know a month or two ago uh, we ha we'd had about 70 people show interest in the trip so there is plenty of interest some of them had already started signing up so if you are really keen to go on the trip i'd say signing up the earlier the better uh, for a couple of reasons one you, you lock your place in but the other reason as well is is then we can really start to um, adapt that program and, and make you know make it so you can get the best experience out of it possible but above all i'd just say that you know feel free to to get in touch with us uh, ask questions make inquiries uh, there's plenty of resources there for you to, to to try and work out you know how you can get the best out of this trip